Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm here to show you some brand new releases of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. And these are brand new boxes from Brazil. So this is actually my first time looking at these. I haven't even taken them out of the box yet. I just unwrapped the plastic so I can show you these in detail. And these might be a bit hard to come by if you're not in Brazil. I was able to source these through a very good friend, so big shout out to my girl Samantha over in Brazil, who was kind enough to forward these. But just to run through this a bit quick, we got two boxes here. There is a Blu-ray box set, which is actually a limited edition, and this is numbered, and it is limited to 1,000 copies, so we will get back to this. And secondly, I also have this DVD edition, which I don't believe is numbered, but I could be wrong. Uh, I know it's not number, but I I don't think this is limited, that's what I'm trying to say. So, first of all, we can look at the limited edition Blu-ray box. So I'm just going to put this other stuff to the side. And it should also be mentioned that there is actually a small keychain included. I have no idea if this was part of the actual sale, because I can't find like any sort of information on the site which mentions these. And there is also included a set of posters. These are rolled posters, they came in a separate box like this, but these were mentioned in the listing for this, but the small keychain was not as far as I can tell. So this might be promotional or first run, limited first press, I don't know. But this was included, it is a small metal keychain from the looks of it and as you can tell yeah it is a small replica of a license plate featured in the film so in any case i'm just going to put these aside for now and then we're going to take a closer look at the blu-ray box set so first up here is the front comes in a rather glossy print we can check a look at the spine here and this is actually a blu-ray dvd combo i want to make that clear in case everybody's is curious and here is me trying to give you a bit of a detailed look at the content or the specifications. Now this is obviously not in English as far as some of the print goes, but they should be English friendly. As you can see, you probably have English printed under idiomas. So that's English language and it also seems like they might even have English subtitles on them. So. I'm not really sure on the specification. It's quite hard to get details and I haven't been able to run through these on my player yet to check it. But in any case, you can see the limitation here. It's actually numbered each individual copy. So this is number 460 out of 1000. The Blu-ray is region all, but it is an NTSC encoding. Here you got the barcode in case you want to check it. And here is also the main website for the distributor. So you can order them directly from here. I believe they ship internationally, but like I said, I haven't actually tried it because I got this through a friend who was able to bundle them for me so I could get all the boxes in one go. But in any case, I'm just gonna slide out the content so we can take a look at them. And I have to say, I'm really liking this sort of yellow design because being a collector who purchased a lot of these, it's always fun when you get something that's a bit different and does just use the same old design. Now, first of all, here is a small booklet, quite a nice print. And obviously all of this appears to be pretty non-English friendly. You can see it's essentially printed in the native language for the Brazil region, but it still has you know, some really nice behind the scenes photos. It's a nice colorful glossy print. So I'm not gonna really flip through every detail, but here, this should give you some idea at least. Then we got some limited edition art cards. Seems to be four of them. So we got one for each film, obviously. There's Leatherface, and then we got the Text Chainsaw Massacre, The Return. So that's it for those, nothing on the back. And then we're going to quickly take a look at the Blu-ray, which is actually a biggie pack. So I'm going to fold this out and we're actually going to flip it to try and give you a look at all the artwork. So this is very tough for me to do because I have a very experimental setup. You actually have no idea how difficult it is to film this because there's so much sort of limited space for me to work with. I'm not really sure if I should do this whole thing with the discs, but what the hell, I'm just gonna try to do this as fast as I can without damaging stuff. So here's a look at the interior artwork. 
just running through this fairly quickly so we won't waste a whole lot of time on this because I really want to show you the second box set as well so now I'm probably putting the discs back in the wrong order but what the hell I guess you can just sue me if you feel that this is a mortal sin or something so that should be it for the blu-ray box set and we are going to take a look at the DVD box set as well so once again this is probably included with the blu-ray I don't think it belongs with the DVD but I don't know so seeing as blu-ray is limited this is probably a promo for that only, just so you know. Now, checking out the DVD box set. As you can see, pretty much the same color scheme. Very sort of grainy look here, which I like for the classic first movie. And now I'm getting a bit confused because it seems like this is actually a different collection. So I'm gonna have to double check this. Yeah. You can see this Blu-ray box set actually features the first four movies from the franchise. So here we've got the original film, the sequel, part three, and also the return of the text chainsaw. But this one is actually a different lineup. As you can see here, this might be hard if you don't know the original titles. But here we actually have Tobe Hooper's Eaten Alive. And I'm guessing that's maybe Life Force? Oh, it's actually... Invaders from Mars. I don't know if that's an alternate title. You can see it stars uh, Karen Black, Hunter Carson, Timothy Bottom. So 1986, look that up. I'm not entirely sure what film that is. But we also got Eaten Alive, which is also a Tobe Hooper film, obviously. And then we got Text Chainsaw Massacre, the original film from 1974, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 from 1986. So those four movies are part of this box set. And then there will also be a third disc, which includes some documentaries and stuff like that. So, in terms of the specifications, these two box sets are definitely different in terms of the special features and the content and the movies. So, yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. I really thought these would be basically Blu-ray DVD ports of one another, but it does not appear to be that way. And anyway, just a quick look at the box set, the way it looks. And now we're going to check out this, which is actually not a diggy pack. This is actually a diggy stack, which I did not realize. But I'm just opening this up. This also has some art cards, apparently. So just flipping through these briefly. I'm really surprised I have no idea what that movie is. But in any case, here is the interior design. Here is the Diggy Stack. So just flipping through this. So yeah, we got three discs. There appears to be some artwork there in the back as well. A picture from Ethan Alive actually. So there we go. I'm actually going to put these cards back right away. Fold that up. Then we got some lovely artwork from the original film. There's the spine. Wow, <laughs> okay, that was a surprise. And this is obviously, or probably, from this Invaders from Space movie. God, this looks so crazy. Okay, so that is essentially it for the DVD. And just before I go, I want to show you the posters as well. Just pull this out. And these are actually rolled, like I said, they are not folded. So these are basically glossy posters. Wow, these look amazing. So we got part one, part two. Yeah, we basically got the original four movies here. It's gonna be a bit hard for me to show, but they are all basically the theatrical posters from the looks of it, and the, it appears to be the international theatrical posters, not like the Brazil version, I think. No, it appears to be international. So, yeah. But in any case, that is basically it for this video. As usual, I really hope you enjoyed this. And of course, I would love to see you all next time. And these should always be centered. God damn it. There we go. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.